Well, anyways, the reason I call all you here is because I have some news for you. Terrence, didn't tell you you're going to be a daddy again. Oh, well, that is yeah. extravagant news. I'm not the mommy. What? You say she stinks. She stink like me, like stinking doggy. Oh, no, okay, my God. Somebody that just joined this live, I have Molly on the phone, and we are dressing stinking Nella. I don't know who is that, but we're gonna find out shortly. Somebody, I gotta learn to bathe and wash your posts, okay? Learn to bathe and wash your posts, okay? The wall of one stinking dog, and that's me, okay? Oh my God. That was crazy, right? Yes. When she's going back and forth with me, she's going to be using this girl because she starts costing me more, right? No, you don't, you don't play more the joke. You don't play more the joke. Daddy, after now, she's costing me more. Look at this girl. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Um, Joe is the one that brings the war on the life situation to social media. Correct, you know? yes, correct, yes. So, while he was on the live and he was talking and he started talking about pop smoker and pop smoker, remember he was carrying on, right? Yes. This girl, she's an older, was supposed to be his friend. And she goes with staff every time. Let me ask you a question. What's the mean, what's the post? You better in the real life or social media? She goes, me, she goes, me, she goes, no, in real life, we go. Okay. So now, I'm um, going to find the live and start to Maybe everybody can want that for me, this friend, whatever way, right? Yeah. She's supposed to be my friend. She's on your life in the comment section. Okay. Doing the most as if she's not a friend of mine. Okay. You know, talking okay. about the derogatory way, the most shit. Okay. So, when your life was all done, the next morning, she wake up. Let me bring evidence. So yeah, like, bring the evidence. I'm working with evidence this morning. This morning, she wake up the morning. And she sent me this message here. Let me see. She said, um, I love you. Um, pray that you return to normal self. You know, like uh, giving me a message of strength. Of strength, okay, right? yes. Good. So then I um I screenshot that message. Yes. I'm put on my WhatsApp and say, Love you too, friend. Okay. And, you know, thank you for your support, whoever. Yes. People on my WhatsApp now telling me, delete that message because she's the same person that was all over that in life. I couldn't believe it, right? I said, I'm taking it on when I see proof. Kind of okay, like exactly. That. Correct. People start sending me the screenshots of all comments now from your life. Probably when I see the comments, and like she was making on your life, and I read back this message. Yes. Family, the same person. Like, oh, you could be on comments talking stuff about me, and then in me in back talking like this about giving me love. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So now, my decision is to cut you off as a friend. Correct. Like a craft friend. Correct. Correct. Okay. On your mother life and everything I love, when I caught you up as a friend, I didn't come to social media. I mean, social media that I caught you up as a friend, I just, when you're dead to me, you're dead to me. I don't keep on mentioning you or nothing. Okay. As you ask me from social media, you ask me, I don't post nothing but nobody. I've been there a year ago. Definitely. I've been from my own situation. Uh huh. So I think I blocked this girl, everything she posted. Ooh, body, good. I need to go over. You see me multiple times in person. Of so course. 100%. Yes, Molly. And you smell good and you look good. Yes, I did. Yes. Um, I'm um, good. Oh, this is how it's shading me every two, three months. A whole year. I ignore. And so, the other day, Facebook even come out talking about let's play, let's play. So, I'm like, let's play only the refund for the body. Every minute. Uh uh. So, she's I'm showing stuff at you. Good. So when I see she starts showing up at me, I make a post and say, I am playing this let's play game on Facebook because I see her sharing people and I don't want It's to not right. Her. It's not right. Good. You know, and I block her. Okay. Right? When I block her, she make a post, um, you can't play the let's play game because you always live by play things and carrying her kind of, even though I block her. Okay. Oh, I got to know she was still posting but me. A friend of mine told me, I put her to a friend of mine and I said, no, I block this girl because I don't want to go back and forth to share she's shading me. The next man, the friend tell me, oh, you telling me you black this girl? This girl still carrying on. And the friend starts telling me, because they're not, even though I black her, she's still carrying on. Okay. People are say that they ignore shade, but that he always know when shade is for them. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, good. So now I explain, you know what? People start telling me, is what secret this girl got for you? That every time she shades you, you keep ignoring she like a frightening shit. No, but you grow. You, you have been growing up, Molly. So over the past few years, you keep to yourself, you avoid corruption, drama, and bullshit. You grow, yes. 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 Yes.
from food is a type of lifestyle. So she gave me a comment and said, all of a sudden, if you want to change and be motivational speaker and be woman empowerment. Now, if you see me changing, you're supposed to be happy for me. You're supposed to want there to change me for bring me back out to the old me. Definitely. Definitely. So now I said, no other man, I don't give anybody else me three points. Yes. Except Pinky Fucking Cinello. You understand me? I said, I don't give anybody else me three points. Except for when you say she stinks, she stinks like me, like stinking daddy. Oh, now wait, let me bring evidence. Oh. Okay, my god. So, we that just joined this live, I have Molly on the phone, and we are dressing stinking nail. I don't know who is that, but we're gonna find out shortly. Some of you, I gotta learn to bathe and wash your posts, okay? Learn to bathe and wash your posts, okay? The wall of one stinking dog, and that's me, okay? Oh my god, that game was crazy, right? Yes. No, you don't you don't play more the joke. You don't play more the joke. Daddy, after she calls me mother, look at this girl. Right, Daddy? Uh-huh. Me mother, Daddy, and look at me mother when she comes Your mother's look good, Molly. Your mother's a good big woman. I've known your mother. I've known your mother. No. Me and you is so mother like. Yes. You call to me, I call for you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh God. So let me ask a question. You don't want no friend with her. No friends. Okay. Understand. Mali, 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 let me say something. If a girl calls you to fight, you very solid. I don't think you should be scared of fighting. You very big, bone solid. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I don't like when they talk about America. I don't like it at all. If you never went on a plane, don't talk. I have never invited you to their home. You can't speak on your own because you've never been there. All right. I now understand, Molly. I'm going to try and resolve the situation. That is not true. It's called fake love. It's called fake. It is called fake. I'm going to address this matter and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to take this case and investigate it for you, Molly, okay? Okay. Correct. So I understand. Okay, okay. Molly, tell your mother, good morning. I love her and thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, we're here for Molly's side. I'm going to put it over to you guys. 
drink some apple juice right now. I'm thirsty. Right? This is the problem now. Let me put it out there. A lot of you guys, right? Your fucking mouth is your problem because y'all think it's okay. You want a friend doggy. But in the comment section, you want to throw dirt on my name. You want to talk crazy. Stop fucking. If you're friends with me, you fuck with me. You got to ride with me. Team doggy. Team doggy until we die. We run it off. A lot of y'all is why I make a y'all joke and insultive. And then when other people get y'all compliment, we look like some fucking asshole. Molly said, doggy, me, this girl, we very good. We were close. We were friends. A lot of fucking females is up on talking name. You understand me? If somebody said, I don't want to be friends with you, you got to respect that. I don't want to be friends with you. Y'all can't say, fr- y'all born with friends. It's a no. Um, why me child mother going on in the comment section? I don't want Facebook in my business. Anytime I had known he went live, I would have never called him. I would have to tell him. Um, Nico, it's not at him. Well, anyways, your reasons. I call all you here. It's because I have some news for you. Terrence, didn't tell you you're going to be a daddy again. Oh, well, that is all extravagant news. I'm not the mommy. What? So, about what? I just wanted to tell everybody in person and to clear the air. I didn't want nobody to think that I keep in secret so I hide in things or anything like that. I just he didn't even know. He this is shock to him. That I know everything. Don't ask me what I'm talking about. Who is Shania Shah? What position? You want to tell your father and them that she's pregnant? Oh. Terrence, you was just by she a little while ago and you went to drop a clear blue. I have videos of your vehicle being there. I have pictures of the pregnancy test. I have videos of you and she having sex in a hotel. I have everything. I have everything. An anonymous informer notified me of everything going on. I have pictures. I have messages. I have videos. I have pictures of the pregnancy test. I know Ali's going live in a bar in Felicity with she family. I know she have a two-year-old child. I know she's a little girl. She's only 23 years old. I know where she live in. I know you just go there and play with she son. I know she calling my son Papa and thing and I know. I also know that when you drop me and mommy in the airport to go to Barbados, you carry my child by her house. My son by her house i know everything i know when you say you're working late you're not working late you're in a hotel with she that why you never have no money you're always running in the atm because you had to pay for hotel i know she's lying with all, all your police partners and them i know everything terence i know everything and i have the proof so this is not assumptions i have hard evidence to prove everything and i know that a couple months ago when you had something on your neck and I asked you what it is you tell me how that the mp5 strap and I know you tell she that you tell me is a mp5 strap and I believe it and I know it was a hickey and I'm pretty sure it have others because the name when I see the message last two weeks ago when Tristan had my phone is a different name so maybe it have other women too I don't know maybe it's just for them I know but the one that I have proof hard whole evidence about everything i have it i have everything i don't know how you're going to deny it there's nothing to deny and i know you tell she that you're gonna find some way to work around it since she's pregnant and she's a little girl she's 23 years old I know you know all she family is going by she house. I know everything. She living in like a kind of little shop. Not even a good house. But you are too happy. You don't pay a bill in this house. You don't make groceries. 
The only thing you just do is go Pennywise and buy Pampers for the child. You don't wash your clothes. You don't. You don't give me no money. Not that I need no money. Nothing. But you're too happy. I home here like a damn fool every day, taking care of my child, doing whatever I had to do for you. Look the other night when Tristan get up and he started vomit, and he was working in the night. And call me in the middle of the night to go and do your laundry because you had to go to court. I get up and do it. I had to stop the laundry because the child, after he vomit, he get trouble to go back to sleep for over two hours. I still make sure and get it done by the time you come home. I know when you say you're working extra hours, you're not. I know everything. I know you had sex with you last week, Thursday night. I know everything, Terrence. And all this line felicity in a kind of run down bar so people there won't really know you. I know your police partner and them know. I know back and know. I call the names. I tell them all. I know everything, Terrence everything and just last week friday you watch me in my face and say you never step out on your marriage and that the message i see is that it's just a stupid message it could never be never 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 be a stupid message but i bide my time i bide my time till the lord i pray about this just last night you know the lord send that anonymous person to contact me this morning to tell me everything just last night i wouldn't lie for that and i get to find out everything because i couldn't come and accuse you without proof and now i have everything and you have this little girl pregnant she's 10 years younger than you terence she's a little girl boy and she have a child already and you go there and play with your two-year-old son no you want to know a statement from team Rigi didn't make it failure don't stop progress it may slow things down but the steps thereafter determine how things end after several issues with the incompetence and untardy works by the owner of tepui group it resulted in the termination of the contract between said company and mr mohammed senior mohammed senior has completed his 20,000 sq.ft heavy duty lift wharf facility successfully while Tepiwi Group took nine months to cover 4,200 square feet, it took Mr. Mohammed a mere six months to cover and complete the remaining 15,800 square feet with same cost. Mr. Mohammed SR has expressed his gratitude to his contractor, the construction team, and the members of the health and safety team for their exemplary works. Unlike the previous contractor, Mr. Mohammed ensured that all precautions were taken to ensure that the workers had a safe environment to work in thus ensuring that no mishaps took place causing injuries or even the death of the workers. A federal judge in Manhattan has found former President Donald Trump liable for damages in a hotly contested copyright battle over Eddie Grant's 80 seconds dance hit Electric Avenue. In a 30-page decision, the judge on Friday delivered a one-two blow that essentially ends the case pretrial, with nothing now left to determine but damages. In the first legal blow, the judge found that the song was properly copyrighted. And in the second blow, the judge threw out the only defense offered in the case, a claim that Trump had made fair use of the song. Grant, a UK citizen who lives in Barbados, has been told of the decision, said another of his lawyers, Brian Kaplan. Mr. Grant believes that the ruling will help other artists and owners of copyrights defend against similar infringement, Kaplan said. Grant's lawsuit demanded that Trump pay him $300,000 though that could rise if the former president must also pay the thousands of dollars in legal fees the artist has spent during four years of litigation. Scores of sugar workers attached to the Rose Hall Sugar Estate down tools today in protest of the firing of two managers at the location. The workers gathered outside the estate this morning and refused to begin work while raising their concerns over the firing of the production manager and the head of the laboratory unit. After a few hours in their quiet protests, many of the workers returned to their jobs while others decided to take the day off and headed home. The Diana Agricultural and General Workers Union has offered no information about the strike action. There are more than 1,000 persons currently employed at the Rose Hall Estate, which was reopened last year as part of the government's push to develop the sugar industry. Since taking office, the government has pumped billions of dollars into Guy's UCO, but 
but the sugar industry continues to operate at a big loss, with billions reported in losses over the past few years. There have also been some management changes, but the production problems persist, with sugar production falling way below its target. Minister of Public Works, Juan Edgel, on Thursday officially imposed a ban on truck drivers parking and selling sand on the Roomvelt reserves near DSL Cash and Carry. During his visit to the area, Minister Edgel ordered the removal of 11 sand trucks that were illegally parked at the industrial estate. The minister cited concerns that the sand was contaminating the paint at Torjanal Paints Incorporated, disrupting the company's business operations. The sand is finding its way into the factory and it is contaminating the paint. This matter has reached the courts. We have come and we have removed these truck drivers before. Just under two weeks the police have come and removed them, they have returned. From today, whether it's these 11 that we met here or any other sand truck coming here, we are preventing and prohibiting the parking of sand trucks for sale from now, Minister Edgar stated. The government plans to address the issue by developing a commercial land area where articulated vehicles can be parked and rented. We can't allow the lawlessness to continue, Edgar emphasized. For 2023, the government of Guyana had to pay the combined sum of $306 billion in income taxes for ExxonMobil Guyana Limited and its Stavro Block partners, Hess and CNOOC according to the company's audited financial statements, while for the same period Guyana earned $336 billion from its oil. This arrangement which saw the government pay almost the same amount it earned from oil in taxes for the oil companies last year is as a result of the 2016 production sharing agreement the previous coalition government signed with the U.S. oil major. Exxon is the operator of the Stavro block with 45% interest, Hess Guyana Exploration Limited holds 30% interest, and China National Offshore Oil Corporation Petroleum Guyana Limited holds 25% interest. Last year, the three companies earned $1.3 trillion in profits, entirely tax-free in Guyana. However, while Exxon, Hess, and CNOOC are not required to pay taxes, a 42-year-old taxi driver was arrested on Wednesday and is facing charges for allegedly using a mobile phone to make bomb threats against Caribbean Airlines, the Chetty Jagan Airport, the Marriott Hotel, and the Guyana National Stadium. The man has been identified as Tavis Damian Roberts from work and Rust in Georgetown. The arrest came after more than a week of investigations by the Criminal Investigations Department of the Guyana Police Force. On the 1st of September, the police received reports of the bomb threat calls that were received by the Caribbean Airline Call Center in Trinidad and Tobago, as well as by the Guyana Marriott Hotel. In those calls, the person on the line indicated that he was part of a group that was planning an attack on the airline and the other places. Following his arrest and during questioning by the investigators, the man reportedly admitted to the crime, but told the police that the calls were prank calls and he had been paid by a group of Venezuelan men to make the calls. He is facing charges of misuse of telecommunication device. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. But when would we be able to access a UNF Triple C compliance market? That's the only time that you can really value forest carbon at, well, put a true value to forest carbon. Of course, with its biodiversity um, benefits, etc., it would be a high quality carbon. So to the government several times, the government right now, um, you know, to say, hey, I want to make just to tell you what is happening but of course we know they're interested in hearing nothing to fix nothing because poverty is being allowed you see with wicked people and who and with Guyana and all the money and the resources that we have right now it's not about the people everybody see an opportunity and how to get some money be careful out there people be careful and so poverty is important to some people that you're there in the commentary and CCTV footage and that one of the victims identified as as you guys how do you respond to that i i don't have no here. problem with that trap mm -hmm. but you have to understand you have to come to the realization that people could say stuff like this but why the police did not put out a video yeah. footage or uh image stating that we was basically on this crime scene you put in witness saying that they saw us right. on this crime scene they the first thing the, the, the article state that it was a 